Welcome to the Spirit of St. Joseph TV. I'm Glamorous Valenzuela. So many careers to choose from, it can be a tough decision. But St. Joseph High School has a program to help us make up our minds. It is called Career Day. That's when professionals come on campus and we get to ask them specific questions about their jobs. Career Day exposes us to educators. There's Ruth Beagles, lawyers. Look, there's attorney Wayne James, who is also a senator. Us students asked him a lot of questions. Military folks, there's Sergeant from the National Guard, and of course, there's Father Gotti. Career Day is held each year at St. Joseph High School. We'll be back right after this. Hi, I'm Enrique. And I'm Verna. And, and we, we are from, from St. Joseph Catholic High School. Our Catholic education helps us to build strong character. But there's more to staying healthy in the Virgin Islands. And, and we'll, we'll show you how. Yeah! In gym, we keep physically healthy by participating in sports. We stay emotionally healthy by making new friends. After a long day, having a good snack is just plain awesome. And it's healthy for you too. I'm Berna. And I'm Enrique. And, and remember to stay healthy in the VI. Welcome back. Part of our responsibility here at St. Joseph is to raise funds. It teaches us civic and community responsibility. One senior used bowling balls to raise money for the school. Kwame Garcia's senior project challenged area high schools to compete in a bowling tournament. Of course, St. Joseph High School team came in number one. There's Jolene Todman, Jared Todman, Jordan Paul, and Ebony Farrell. Congratulations! What are you sitting on? A box. <laughs> Why? What are you doing sitting on a box? The camera couldn't see me. <laughs> <laughs> so that's one of the one of the challenges that we had to overcome, right? Yes. Should I show them the box? Yes. Let me see the box. Look at the box. Oh, brother. Pretty colors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then your green screen behind you kept falling down. Yes, it did. We look, beautiful design, beautiful design right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then we put, um, of course, we have the flag. St. Joseph. St. Joseph flag held there prominently. Prominently. Yes. Now, what did you learn as as the anchor person in charge of the scripts? I learned that I had to project my voice so mm -hmm. that the sound can go straight to the camera because we had a couple of technical difficulties at first. Mm -hmm. And uh, I heard to be myself. Mm -hmm. uh, I learned to be myself and not to be the news reporter anchor woman that's always like, here in the Virgin Islands, we have a feral key and blah, 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 whatever. Mm -hmm. But I learned I have to be myself and no matter what, um, we're going to have bloopers, but we have to have fun with it. So. Now, question. Most importantly, as we're, they're looking for, yes, the writing skills. What did you learn about preparation and writing and how important that is? Well, I, well when we were writing this, we, we had to have fun with it. And basically what's really important is to make sure everything makes sense together. Because once it doesn't make sense, you're talking about a whole bunch of stuff you don't have really no mm -hmm. business with it. But but what, the style is it? Is it more or less like essays that you've learned how to write in other classes? Or did you find a difference in it? Yes. Essays in school are different than, more different because essays aren't short stories. Mm -hmm. This is a short story and from beginning to end it tells everything. Okay. And so if, it, if you're telling a short story from beginning to end What's the challenge of telling a, story, a short story in broadcasting? Time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, and what's the time limit? 60 seconds. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> you really picked up yes, I have. the dimensions of, <laughs> of what's important. And so in a, in a newscast, you, in a regular newscast, you have like 
uh, 28 minutes. Mm -hmm. Usually you have your main stories, you have a block B, mm -hmm. you have your commercials, you have your weather, and you have editorials. You did something special for the newscast this year. Yes, you I did. I wrote about Barack Obama. Mm -hmm. And I kind of explained to everyone that I have a little crush on our president. Mm -hmm. So basically the reason why I wrote my editorial because, was because a lot of Americans said that we could not have a black president. And yes, we did. And yes, we can. And yes, we do. So. That was a story that came straight from my heart, so that whoever has the same feeling, they can know that they're not the only person feeling that way. So All right. that's basically why. Okay, now, Miss Quinton, yeah, and then you can say this. Miss Quinton told me to also thank the VI Council on the Arts for mm -hmm. um, supporting this program. <laughs> okay. You can say that. Miss okay. Quinton also told me to thank the VI, what? The VI Council on the Arts. Okay, okay. Ms. Quinton also told me to thank the VI Council on the Arts for supporting our program. Thank at you. Jo at St. Joseph High okay. School. Okay. One, two, three. Our TV technology program. Ms. Quinton told me to thank the VI Council on the Arts for supporting our TV technology, technology program oh, right. at St. Joseph High School. Ms. Quinton also told me to thank the VI Council on the Arts for supporting our TV technology program at St. Joseph High School. Thank you. On behalf of the St. Joseph staff and students, thank you for joining us with the spirit of St. Joseph TV. I'm Glamis Valenzuela. We'll see you next time.